companies on both sides of the spectrum, and we begin with the CEO on the front lines. Ron Shake is the chairman and CEO of Panera Bread, a company bucking the slowing sales trend in the restaurant industry and reporting same-store sales rose last quarter. Good to have you with us, sir. So let's begin talking about the food side of this trade. Uh, for your company, same-store sales were up overall. Revenue up? Yeah, uh, revenues were up. Same-store sales were up. Earnings were up 35% in the quarter we reported today, Erin. So what is driving that? Everyone's talking about how people aren't eating out as much, and when they do, they're opting for less expensive fare. Is your story bucking the trend completely? Yeah, we have a contrarian strategy. We bet on investing in the customer, investing on the customer experience. That led to transaction growth. It's led to market share growth. It's led to profit growth, and uh, it allowed us to be the best performing stock um, last year in the restaurant universe and number two in the Russell 1000. So what, where, where, where are we right now for the consumer in terms of, I mean, are you seeing a growth in a, just, just raw people coming through and they're, they're buying less expensive food, or are you also seeing an increase in ticket? No, we, we, are, we are seeing more consumers. Last quarter, our, 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 our transaction growth was 3.3%. For the first 27 days of quarter four, we had 6.9% transaction growth. That means the average store had 6.9% more people. We are taking market share. Taking market share. Uh, pie yeah. obviously not necessarily getting bigger because people are under pressure. But do you think that the survey that we keep talking about, Washington Post ABC poll said 82% of Americans still believe that we are in a recession right now. Yes. Is that totally... Uh, contrary to your experience? Well, well I, I think we have to individualize it. Our own surveys um, showed that 69% of Panera's consumers would definitely recommend it to a friend. A year ago at this time, 55% of our consumers would recommend it to a friend. What that means is we are doing a better job for the consumer. When you do a better job for the consumer, when, when, when competitors are, are basically optimizing, cutting costs, and reducing their experience, we're relatively better. We're doing better. Do you post calorie counts? Uh, we do in, in many of our stores. And are you seeing that have any sort of a noticeable impact on the food people are choosing? Yeah, actually, I think it helps people. I think that Panera is about health, and I think Panera is about choice. And I, I think people respond positively when we give them the options. So here's my personal question to yes. you, Ron. And I'm, I'm just asked this to you. I'd ask it to any food CEO. I look at the calorie count, and I try to pick the thing that has the fewest calories. Yes. But I'm always suspicious. I feel like that's posted, but then when they actually make the sandwich, they could be, say, a little bit more generous with the mayo or something that might change my 350-calorie sure. count to 500 just like that. Yes. Is that a, uh, I mean, that's well, a real well, risk, right? Well, I, with us and what I would recommend to you, what I would say to you is take a you pick two, a soup and a salad. Um, in fact, the soup is going to run two to 400 calories, and nobody is going to adjust it. It is going to be exactly as posted on the menu. It is. All right. Well, you make Absolutely. me feel a little bit better because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to name the many restaurants that I go into, but 